Hi guys, I'm Zakara. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw in the title, I have an empties video. And as you can see from the box and the thumbnail, it is long overdue. I don't know how it got that full or when. I should have been done this. But here we are. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to go as fast as possible because as you saw, it is a lot. I'm um, gonna have a combination of things as you saw in the title. I have some hair care, body care, skincare, fragrance. I have a little bit of everything up in here. And it's not gonna be in any particular order because I'm not about to go through all that and organize it into categories. I honestly, I can't be bothered. So yeah, it's gonna be random. <laughs> I'll try to organize it a bit as I go through if I can grab little stuff here and there then i'll do that we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in and i guess this one wants to be first since it fill out the doggone box <laughs> but i have the jergens weightless wet skin moisturizer and this is the coconut oil one y'all have seen this on my channel before y'all know i love this i love the jergens wet skin moisturizers in general the coconut oil one doesn't really have much of a scent it just kind of smells like coconut oil it doesn't leave a scent on your body so this is a good one to use for when you're going to be wearing a perfume or something like that because it's not going to interfere with it but yeah i like using the jergens because it's very quick to apply first of all i told you guys i'm lazy and literally applying the lotion to my wet skin after i'm done showering takes like two minutes so it doesn't take long at all and i just get out pat myself dry and i'm moisturized and then this one in particular i don't have to rinse it off i just apply it pat myself dry and that's kind of like patting whatever leftover residue is there from the lotion off and yeah you're good to go all i have on today is that i didn't put on any other lotion or anything and it leaves this nice glow to my skin and it leaves my skin looking really smooth as well and just feeling really soft and hydrated so yeah i love this and highly recommend i have several of these in here there's another one this is the shea butter oil one the coconut oil one is my favorite um i feel like it's the most hydrating it's probably all in my head but i feel like it is and i like that the scent is really mellow as well here's another one coconut oil and another one four coconut oils one shea butter oil as you can see i use these religiously and i love them so yeah like i said highly recommend if you're lazy like me um i find them to be very hydrating i don't always have to follow up with lotion if i don't want to the lotion i think adds more moisture this is more hydration so yeah as you can see highly recommend that took a little bulk out of my box <laughs> So, let me see if I can do other skincare items. I'll try, like I said, I'm gonna try, if I can, to categorize things for y'all. So here's another skincare item. This is a scrub, and this is the Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. That's what that looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh, this scent I love, y'all. It literally smells like laundry powder. <laughs> and it fills up my entire shower while I'm using it. Um, with the tree hut scrubs, I don't notice a difference between each one. It really just depends on what fragrance I want to smell while I'm using the scrub in the shower. But yeah, this is one of my favorite fragrances and tree hut scrubs, in my opinion, are some of the best scrubs and they're not super expensive either. They're like $9 at Ulta or Walmart. Those are places that I've seen today. I usually get mine from Ulta. But yeah, they leave your skin nice and smooth. I use them about two to three times a week to exfoliate. Highly recommend. And I think I have another one in here. Yeah, I have two more actually. I have the lychee and plum. And I have the coconut lime. Yeah, of those three scents, the vitamin C is my favorite. <laughs> These are nice too, but I would repurchase the vitamin C scent. I would repurchase these if I didn't have the vitamin C as an option. But I have some other ones that I like more as well, scent-wise. Like the Belize Breeze. I mentioned that in another empties. That one is one of my favorite scents. And also, a new one that I have that I like is um, the Blueberry Lemon Tart, I think it is. 
doesn't smell that great in the store but once i get in the shower and use it it smells really nice so another body care item is the olay in shower lotion y'all have seen this on my channel as well and this is the what is it called the cooling white strawberry and mint in shower lotion i haven't used this in a while because it is scented and the scents from this last on you for a long time i love this fragrance though it literally smells just like strawberries and cream it doesn't smell minty to me it smells like strawberries and cream like a milky milky sweet strawberry scent and it lingers on my skin for at least the first hour of wear so unless i'm wearing something that has a strawberry note or if i want to enhance the strawberry note in one of the fragrances that i'm wearing i don't really reach for these that often um, also, I don't really reach for it while, while I'm in the house and not going anywhere because this is not readily accessible. I can only get this off of like Amazon or if I order it off of I think Walmart.com. They don't sell this particular scent in the store. But I do love this. Um, this one you actually have to rinse off so it's not as simple as the Jergens. And also I feel like the Jergens might be slightly more hydrating than this one is. But I haven't used it in a while, so I could just be a little biased since I've been using the Jergens so much recently. But yeah, I do still love this and I would repurchase. It's really not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all for body care. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do these two perfumes that I have because there's only two of them. So the first one I have here is uh, Cloud by Ariana Grande. I showed you guys this one in my celebrity fragrance video, this same one here. And I think I told y'all in that video that I would be out of it soon. This is only the one ounce, so of course it didn't take me that long to go through it. Uh, I already have purchased a backup of this. I love this scent. It is a sweet uh, coconut cream and praline fragrance, uh, also with the lavender notes, so it's a bit aromatic. And the lavender note, I feel like, makes it a bit masculine as well. Not so much that it's like overly masculine, but it adds like a touch of masculinity to it. Keeps it from being like too sweet or feminine. I love this. This is a fragrance I think I'll always have in my collection. So the other fragrance empty I have here, I think I mentioned to y'all in another video. I told you guys I went through a full bottle of this. But this is Giorgio Armani C. Passione. Y'all know I love this. It's empty because last summer I wore this out. It's a great scent in the heat because it has this fresh, clean, slightly sweet quality about it. It just it just makes you smell fresh and clean. <laughs> it doesn't want to smell fresh and clean when it is 100 degrees outside. But yeah, this is a fragrance I always have in my collection. It smells almost like a shampoo. That soapiness is in this, but like a sophisticated fruity floral shampoo in my opinion. I love this. I know some people think it's generic, but personally, I love it. And people love this on me, so I think this is one of those fragrances that I always have in my collection. Let's go ahead and do skincare real quick because I only have a couple of those. I have first the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. That's what that looks like. This is my face wash. I, this is the only face wash I use. My skin is sensitive, so I, I can't just be trying stuff on my skin. So I just like to stick with what I know when it comes to skincare. It gets the job done, cleans my face without being um, irritating or causing me to break out. So I'll keep repurchasing this. I already have repurchased it. Another skincare item I have here is the Olay Eyes Ultimate Eye Cream. It's tiny and it looks a mess. I'm sorry, y'all, it's super old. Well, it's not super old, but it just look a mess. <laughs> Um, I would not repurchase this right off the bat. I bought this because it's supposed to have like these natural concealing properties. So when you put it on, it's supposed to automatically just make you look, make you look more awake and almost camouflage your dark circles underneath your eyes. But I don't know. I don't think I saw much of a difference using this and I went through just about the whole thing. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth me repurchasing because I didn't see any difference. And also it wasn't as moisturizing as I would have liked. Um, sometimes it would try to cake up under my eyes and I didn't like that. So when we purchase this. So the last skincare item, I think. Yeah, the last skincare item I have here is this facial toner, Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Rose Petal <laughs> by Thayer's. It's the Thayer's uh, Rose Petal Witch Hazel Toner. Um, I love this. This is my favorite toner to use because 
it doesn't irritate my skin and it cleanses and tones my skin without leaving it feeling dry and dehydrated it actually leaves my skin feeling kind of hydrated after i use it so i love this have repurchased and will continue to repurchase it all right so everything else i have is hair care i think i'm going through this pretty fast i'm proud of me <laughs> Um, the first product I have here is the Argan Oil from Morocco Anti-Humidity Gloss and Shine Mist by Cream of Nature. That's what that looks like. You guys know I use this on my straight hair. Um, I've already repurchased it. I like to use this before I go in and blow dry my hair and also before I go in and flat iron my hair. Um, I don't know if it does a whole lot to help against the humidity here in Florida. There's not much you can expect to help with that, but it doesn't hurt definitely. And I feel like when I don't use this, my hair isn't as silky as it is when I use it. So that is one thing I've noticed. And that's why I will continue to use it because I feel like my results are a lot more silky when I use this particular spray. So yeah, there's that. So next product, hair product that I have here is another straight hair product. This is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo and it is in the scent bold and enchanting naughty or just naughty i don't know if it's just naughty or not but this is my favorite fragrance i feel like they all work pretty much the same in my hair at least but yeah dry shampoo is my straight hair's best friend if i want my hair to last while it's straight i have to have dry shampoo because i have a naturally oily scalp if i didn't i would have to wash my hair and then re-straighten it to get it to last this long or I mean, I could just wear it that way, but it would be like my hair gets old, it gets really stiff and dirty looking and stuff. Like, y'all, this is my hair. Um, I think it's been straight for over a month now at this point. Granted, it has started trying to revert and all, but yeah, and if y'all see anything caked up up there, it's because of this. I didn't use so much of it. I mean, it's like a powder almost because it kind of just like the powder is there to like soak up your oiliness. So yeah, it kind of caked up a little bit up top, but you know, I think my hair still looks pretty good for it to be a month. It don't look all um, way down and oily and that is because of this dry shampoo. It's time for me to wash my hair though. <laughs> um, it keeps your hair fresh as well too. So yeah, it adds a bit of freshness. It's, it kind of, like I said, it's a refresher. It's an instant hair refresh. Um, so it's with that oil add some freshness to it and it helps you to get it to last as long as you want it to. So yeah, um, I have already repurchased this one, the same scent because this is my favorite scent. It smells like perfume. Yeah, it smells like a sweet perfume, like a gourmand type of perfume to me. But yeah, love it. So next here I have the Trilux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse. Y'all know I love this. As I've mentioned in a previous video, this kind of reminds me of my co-wash. Yes, it lathers, but it has a gentle lather. Like I said, it's a gentle cleansing rinse, but it feels hydrating while using it and also once I rinse it off my hair. My curls love this stuff. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this. So next here I have another straight hair item. This is the Proclaim Olive Glossing Conditioner. And that's what that looks like. The Proclaim Olive Glossing Shampoo and Conditioner are my favorite shampoo and conditioner to use for my straight hair. I feel like they also contribute to me getting more silky, silk press results. Um, and they're super inexpensive. I think I purchased this size from Sally's for like $6. And I think the shampoo is the same price as well. So yeah, I love this. I already have repurchased and will continue to repurchase for my straight hair. So next here I have the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. That's what that looks like. Yeah, I love this. The first washing oil I did at home after I got my hair color, I used this before it in. And I put this in my hair and I was planning on leaving it in overnight, but I got lazy and ended up leaving it in for like a few days. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it didn't make much of a difference. It says to leave it in for at least, I think 10 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a minimum of 10 minutes, but when I was doing research and stuff, people said they got the best results when they left it in overnight. So that was my plan. Whenever I use this, I leave it in for at least overnight. But I like to keep this as part of my routine every now and then. So yes, I would repurchase it. I already have repurchased it. I will probably use it when I get ready to revert back to curly. Because I feel like it just makes my hair feel a lot stronger in general. 
Um, I feel like I could have been using this before I even got my hair colored and it would have been um, helpful. Because what it does is it repairs and strengthens all hair types, like it says, it kind of repairs. I think it's for um, your protein bonds. It helps to rebuild the protein bonds in your hair. And those are broken down when you color it. Those are broken down when you use heat on your hair. So I think this is a good product to have in your hair product stash. So yeah. I love it. When I use this right after I colored my hair, because I feel like immediately after I colored my hair, my hair was a bit less elastic than it normally is. Like I said, I used it before I did my first wash and go at home, and my hair snapped right back like it was nothing. Like it went right back to how it was originally after I used this product on my hair. It immediately restored the elasticity. So I'm a believer for life. Old place number three. Highly recommend. So next product I have here is the My El Babasu in Mint Deep Conditioner. Yeah, I've seen this on my channel a million times. Y'all know I love this. I've already repurchased it. As soon as I wash my hair and go back curly, I will be using this particular deep conditioner. But yeah, it is a protein moisture replenisher. So this is a deep conditioner that moisturizes as well as adds protein back into your hair. So it helps with elasticity. And my hair just loves this stuff. I find it to be super hydrating. My hair feels amazing once I rinse it out. My curls look amazing even before I add products to it once I rinse this out. And this is good stuff. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. So next I have the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Curls Deep Conditioner. Y'all know I love this stuff as well. I use this to detangle my hair. I know it's a deep conditioner, so yes, I'm deep conditioning my hair twice technically in the shower. But this has amazing slip. It's moisturizing as well, but I feel like it's not as moisturizing as I like my deep conditioners to be. That's why I don't use it to deep condition my hair. But yeah, the slip in this, amazing. My hair loves this stuff. Literally, the shade hair just kind of glides out when I put this stuff in it. The original 3 Minute Miracle Curls is great too, but I feel like this one has a bit more slip for me. And it's also a bit more moisturizing for my hair as well. So yeah, have already repurchased and will continue to repurchase for life. <laughs> well, I don't know about for life, but for life at the moment. <laughs> so last product. Y'all, I don't think I did too bad. I feel like I sped through these, but the last product I have here is the Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist by OGX. Some of these I feel like y'all see in every empties video and that's because I'm pretty predictable. Like once I find one I like, I typically like to stick to it. I branch out every now and then, but usually I return to my roots. Um, I love this for both my straight and my curly hair. Um, for my straight hair, I like to use it because like I said, it's weightless. It doesn't make my hair more oily. It doesn't weigh my hair down, but it gives it a little bit of extra shine. It does help when my hair is starting to feel a little bit dry too while it's straight. And y'all know I like to use this on my curly hair when I am breaking the gel cast on my hair. Literally, that's I always use this for that. Spray it on my hands, rub my hands together, go through and scrunch out the crunch with it. And I also use this at nighttime when I am getting ready to put my hair up into a pineapple or a bun to sleep. So I just take it, put it on my hands and smooth my hair up into my bun or my pineapple, go to sleep. And it just kind of helps to minimize the amount of frizz that I get from manipulating my hair. So yeah, I love this stuff. Have repurchased, will continue to repurchase it. And y'all know OGX has a million spray oils. This one is my favorite scent wise and also based off of how it makes my hair feel. So that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I always love watching empties videos because I like to see what people are actually using versus what they're just showing us on their channel. And I'm sure y'all feel the same way about me and it's completely understandable. <laughs> I have so many products. So yeah, this is the stuff that either I made myself go through or I use on a regular basis. I think all of these products are products that I use on a regular basis and that I love. So I will continue to repurchase all or most of these. Um, but yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below as usual. Um, let me know if you guys use any of this stuff that I mentioned here in this video or if you plan to try it based off of what I've said about it in this video. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.